Hi Tarot Tribe, it's Ethany and I have another unboxing video for you today. I actually have three decks to go through. This is going to be the video one of three. I did contemplate um, doing this all in one, but then I felt that it would really not give justice to each of the decks and I wanted to give the decks time. I do tend to rush these, um, which you know. I do tend to rush these sometimes, so I thought, no, I'll try and calm my farm and enjoy the unboxing process a little bit more. So there's three. So the first one, I actually had to cut this box open because it was heavy duty um, sealed up with tape, so which is a good thing. So this is the first one. What is this a magical thing in here? <clears throat> excited. I've been so good. First of all, let me just say, some of these decks have been sitting, waiting for this video for over a week. That's how good I've been. Yeah, a week, a long time. So, Ethany, here's a little gift. Thank you so much for loving our project. Your opinion and your support means the world to me. Love, Katie. Oh my god, <laughs> you probably have guessed what it is by now. Look at that, she's so beautiful. And I love Selena. I've got a ton of Lucy Cavendish decks that feature her work. She's so the queen of wands. I mean, you don't even need to read the uh, the title of that. That's going on the tarot wall in my room where all the cool little extra things go. Oh, what did I get? So I got a couch. A magnet. Let's see which magnet it is. <laughs> this is like Christmas, and I didn't get any new decks for Christmas, um, really, because I got all these myself. So uh, this is like my Christmas. <laughs> the Page of Cups. Beautiful. I'm so excited about this deck because I love the ocean so much. And then you get a little tarot. This, so this is the Tarot of Water. Oh, and there's a teaser for the Cirque du Tarot. You know I'm gonna be back in that project. These almost need um, framing. Look at them. Strength by Meredith Gorman. Of course, the incomparable, the most amazing watercolour artist for one of them. The Fool by Stephanie Pullum. Law. Temperance by Tiffany Tolan Scott. These are all postcards. The Queen of Pentacles by Jessica Douglas. Stunning. The Devil by David Van Gogh. I got another Queen of Wands. So that's awesome. I can frame one and keep one. Knight of Swords, my knight, being a Gemini. By Stanley Morrison. Beautiful, I love. The Horse slash Zebrafish. The Star by Carla Morrow. Curiosity by Martha Banks. Hello, money. So those are all the bonus prints you get. That's quite alert. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about this clearing of the throat thing. I was singing to Taylor Swift before. I thought my uh, vocals would be okay. Let's have some more. So I I got a message from. I got a message from uh, the lovely ladies at 78 Tarot and they said they were upgrading my pledge as a thank you for all the support that I've given them over the two projects. I've backed both projects, I've featured both projects. So I've got number 38. Yeah, beautiful. So thank you so much to Katie and um, everyone at 78 Tarot. Look at this box. So beautiful. Wow, we the tarot is a bigger, is a big one. Look at that, that's quite a big deck. Tarot of Water. Seventy-eight artists, one nautical deck. Global art collaboration by artists assembled. One of a kind collective masterpiece celebrating art and tarot. Now I know collaborative decks are are like either you love them or you hate them. I love them. <clears throat> I don't always think that they can be the best thing when it comes to reading for a client, 
um, because of the disparity, I guess, in some of the artwork. But for like personal work, for um, personal readings, for journaling, reflection, meditation, I just think they are for ritual. I think they're amazing, and I I love. I've only ever gotten rid of one collaborative deck. Sorry. And that's because um, <clears throat> the majority of the art I wasn't vibing with. But I've never, I, I don't mind collaborative decks at all. I've got quite a few of them actually, like Shadows of Oz, um, the, all of the light grey art lab decks. Okay, deal. So I got the deck and I got this beautiful book. And look, it's just so stunning. I'm not sure if there are any of these left. And it's all, all colour. <clears throat> I mean, shut the front door. Shut the back door. Shut the garage. This is so beautiful. <clears throat> I mean, sorry about my voice this morning, y'all. So, intro to Terry Spreads. Oh, Trisha. Let's see Trish Sullivan, this is the other lovely lady I have to thank. Three card spread, one card draw. Oh, that's cool. The starfish spread, the anchor spread. Maybe we will try one of these. And then all the artists. And then it gets right into the uh, to the artwork. Wow. And let me see at the back. There's so. Oh wow, it's got some card development art behind the scenes. And then some special thank you. So I think I'm in here somewhere. Maybe I am, maybe I am not. Oh, I see Ashley um, from Dreadlock Tarot. What's up, V? I'm going to be going through this and be like, oh, I know this person. Yeah, Ethany Dawn, there I am. Cool. I see a lot of you in here that I know who got this deck as well. Oh, a book just smells divine and it's hard covered and it's gold and it's just beautiful. I don't know, again, like I don't know if it's available anymore, but that was an upgrade for me. So, my goodness, you made my Christmas. Then you also get a booklet. So if you don't get the, the collector's edition, you do get the booklet, which is the same as the card backing. Oh my God, I'm already in love with this deck. <laughs> I love the ocean. I want to be a mermaid forever and ever and swim with the fishies. Basically, I just want Sebastian to sing under the sea for me. Um, and yeah, I used to pretend I was Ariel or Ariel um, from the Little Mermaid. And I used to in the bathtub. I used to like do the um, part of your world. And I used to like slide up the bathtub, like she would slide up the rock and water would just go everywhere. You can ask my mum. I used to flood the bathroom at least three or four times a week. She used to have to pull me out of the pool. We had an above ground pool and then we had a below ground pool in Australia. We kind of upgraded. They used to pull me out of the pool. My lips would be blue. It would be cold outside. I'm like, no, I don't want to go. I like, I love water. I'm a real water baby. So anyway, I digress. So this is this is why this stuff, I, I love it so much. I back the Sea Shepherd. I'm a um, member of the Research and Mammal um, Rescue Center at the Vancouver Aquarium. So yeah, it's, it's a big thing for me ocean-wise. I backed a ton of projects on Kickstarter for um, the ocean. So it's an important part of my life. And beside being my patron god. Anyway, get back to the cards. <laughs> so this is the booklet. <clears throat> it kind of jumps straight into the, yeah, it jumps straight into the cards, okay? So there's, there's not much else in there but just the card meanings. Um, it has keywords, who the artist was, uh, a little bit about the actual art, and then a little bit about the card. So, okay, now we get to the good stuff. This may be a long one because I'm going through, oh beautiful, meditate card, I'm going to go through all of them. Whimsy, and these are really, it's beautiful card stock, it's, they're beautiful big cards, curiosity, 
cool. So stunning. So the magician. Some people may get thrown off. Sorry. I need to get her oracle deck. Um, some people may get thrown off by the borders and by the who the arts by, but when you're doing a collaborative deck like this and you put all your heart into your art, I think that it should be recognised and I don't think it takes away from it. If it takes away from it too much, then, you know, you could probably trim, you could probably trim it, but I'm, I'm not going to, I won't, I won't trim it. I love the difference in art. Like, it's just so, oh, it's probably one of my favourite chariot cards I've ever seen. Um, when you give, one thing I love about collecting tarot, one thing I love about these decks is that you give, it reminds me of, um, it's a trap. Um, you give an artist, you know, you're going to be doing the Wheel of Fortune and then you see what they, this reminds me of my friend's art, um, you see what they come back with and it's just so beautiful. So strength is 11 in this one and they're just so different. And the richness in this and what each artist has put in it is quite amazing. Again. Tower. Right, oil the tower, perfect card for that. Oh, don't know. So cool. And I've been watching because obviously I backed this on Kickstarter. I've been watching the um, behind the scenes and the updates. <clears throat> I've even read, not to uh, brag too much, but I've even read for a couple of people who've actually done the art for these cards. So hello to the beautiful people who I have actually had the absolute blessing and pleasure to read your cards. I haven't read with these because obviously these are new, but I have read for people who have done this project. Can't tell you how much of an amazing experience that is. I mean, obviously there's going to be a lot of mermaids in this and I am a-okay with that. But look, there's also all sorts of <clears throat> different um, artworks in there. So I mean, if you're not into the nautical theme, then, you know, it's not going to be for you. And you're not, if you're not into mermaids, then it's obviously not going to be for you either. But if you, uh, look at that, far out. Beautiful. And I voted for this. When the first um, 78 cards came out, if you backed the project, you got to vote on which one would be next. And I voted for the nautical. And the other one was the circus, which is going to be beautiful. Which is going to be follow her on Instagram. I follow so many of these people on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, so it's going to be next. You bet your bet your booty I'll be back in that too. That's gorgeous. I mean, not a nice card, but beautiful depiction of it. It's a really different artwork. Some it's very very fantasy. Based and others of it is, and I like that. Looking forward to <laughs> like that. It's almost like a throw to jaws, right? Dun it, dun it, dun it. I'm going to get your little boat and eat it for my dinner. Pirate cat, pirate cat, beautiful. I love purple and blue, so like anything that's like this turquoisey purple, and oh, that's beautiful too. Look at that. She's bringing the waves in with her. Stunning. Gorgeous card. Follow you on Instagram too. Hi. If I'm recognizing names anyway, some people I'm not. I'm so excited, I'm not really <laughs> obviously Selena. Hello, I recognize you and follow you. <clears throat> Beautiful cards. 
I'm really going to have to take some time today to get to know them because this is the first time I'm seeing them as well. And I'm kind of wanting to show you without spending all day talking about them. Such different perspectives on tier two. Um, on the tarot, and I love that. That's what I love about these. These, like I said, different mediums and all sorts of stuff. Oh, the otters are kill me. So much. I love otters so much. Was that Hermione's? Patronus, an otter? I think it was. I need to reread those books. Ha! With a toddler. Ha 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 ha. Doubt it. Um, so that's all the cards while I've been rambling on. So let's see how they shuffle because they are quite a bit bigger than. Okay, so they still fit okay in my hand. And I've got, I've got quite small hands. I don't have like big man hands. I also don't have dainty little lady fingers, but I do have quite small hands. So that I don't have much room on my table today. We have got stuff. No, here yeah, they still they. Yep, they shuffle pretty well. Like I said, the cardstock is lovely, so it's going to be very robust and usable. Because I shuffle the crap out of my decks. So what cards did I pull today? The Wheel of Fortune. Stunning. Gorgeous. So that's my unboxing video for this beautiful... I need to look at this box. Thank you so, 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 so much for the beautiful gift um that you sent to me katie um i can't even i hope that you enjoyed the unboxing video and i will be sharing images as i always do so um come find me on instagram facebook and the works and if you like this video if you like anything tarot oracle related and um like to have sneaky peeks and what i have in my collection then please subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching